Good morning, I'm trying to get ready to head to work and I was just gonna do a quick video to show you what I am throwing together for dinner tonight. We're going to make a crock, make a crock pot meal because Mondays and Tuesdays are extremely busy for me. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put in it. It's gonna be like a jambalaya. Um, it's gonna have some sausage and chicken in it. Um, so here's what we're using. This was the brand that was on sale. So we've got some kielbasa that we're gonna chop up. I don't have any chicken defrosted in my refrigerator um, that's ready. So I have some bags of these. I have several bags. Um, there's only like six ounces in each bag, so we're gonna use three. Um, two cans of some diced tomatoes. I'm using petite diced. Sometimes I use fire, fire roasted tomatoes. I don't have any. So I was gonna throw some little green chili peppers in there, but I also don't have any of those. So we're gonna put some chili powder in there to kind of spice it up a little bit. We're also gonna use some Tony's, um, some garlic, and because this makes it easy and I had it ready, we have some peppers and onions already cut up. I'm gonna throw that in there. So I'm gonna chop up the pepper and I'll be right chop back. Up peppers, but I actually, actually was chopping up the sausage. So I've chopped it up and put it in my crock pot. And I'm gonna try to prop this so that y'all can see it all because see, I don't do this a lot. So, so the peppers are in there. Then you're literally just gonna throw everything else in there. So I need to open that. I should have opened this up beforehand. But I'm gonna put the peppers and onions in there, which you could have most of the time, I actually chop up my own peppers and onions. I've had that in the freezer for I can't tell you how long. And I'm trying to clean out what's been um, kept in there. So I'm just going to cut open these three bags of chicken. I've got a little plate back here to put my trash on. So that's what I'm doing. I hate to look at the date on these. I'll probably do that. Why do I not see a date on these? I'm sitting here wasting y'all's time, but there is no date on the chicken. So, oh, there it is. November. Yes, November. They all are dated for November. I don't know if you've ever used these before, but I ordered a rotisserie chicken. Uh, one day a few weeks ago and they were out so they sent me these and they have been great um there's only six ounces in the bag though but they're if you can see them they're great for like let me show you for like fajitas they're so easy they're already cooked so you just throw them in a pan and heat them up or in a microwave um for me when i'm not here and my kids want to have lunch or something it makes it really easy um i'm gonna put the cans of tomato in of the petite diced tomato and again I usually use fire roasted tomatoes but I did not have any or you could use like Rotel I don't have any either one of those so we're just going to use petite diced with the juice you're not going to drain or anything like that and I'm going to use two cans and I just realized the one thing I forgot was chicken broth so I'm going to have to go grab container of chicken broth in just a second there's my two cans of tomatoes I already have the crock pot turned on um, low this is gonna cook and simmer for about seven hours so while I'm at work it'll be cooking now I'm gonna add some garlic I like garlic so we are going to add two hefty tablespoons of garlic in there and then I'm going to put some Tony seasoning, just a couple tablespoons of it. I generously sprinkled it on the top. I don't measure, so, um, but it's, I don't know if you can see, it's about two tablespoons full. And then I'm gonna do some chili powder not too much of it and I'm gonna grab some chicken I have some chicken broth already in the cabinet 
Um, a lot of times I refrigerate my own chicken broth that I make from chicken, but I uh, don't have any. So we are going to use a couple of cups of chicken broth. You don't want too terribly much, but when I start seeing the liquid, which I'll show you, I've started seeing the liquid over here in the corner. Um, so, and like back there, so that's what you want. You don't want it to be soupy, but you do want enough chicken broth in there. Um, I'm gonna leave the chicken broth and top it up. So that's our jambalaya. I'm not even going to um, stir it together right now. I will call my kids later, midday at work and get them to stir it together. And the only thing that's really cooking in there is the sausage. The chicken's already pre-cooked. Everything else is just warming together and it's just marinating and getting all those good flavors. And then you can put it over some rice if you want to. Some people put it over pasta. Um, I'll probably have some rice ready for um, some of my family that would want rice, but I'm not going to eat anything over um, under mine. I'm just going to eat the jambalaya mix. So that's a quick, easy dinner for a crock, -mock, crock pot meal. You could have thrown it in a regular pot too, but for me, it's a crock pot meal. And I hope y'all have a wonderful start to your week. See you later.